and that is in January 2017. So the president-elect made a declaration that he is declared elected by the competent body. And according to the constitution, which has no ambiguity, he is to assume office on the day that the term of office of the incumbent expires. That is the order and command of the Constitution. So he issued a statement indicating, having been elected, all my supporters who focus on the day that the Constitution says I should assume office. And don't quarrel. If you see the soldiers in the street, know that the incumbent is still the president of the Republic of the Gambia. The institutions are under his control. He can order soldiers to go and be deployed anywhere. See them. Go about your business. That was the language of the president elect issued and will give you all the addresses, the copies of the addresses that he has made so far before you leave. That was the language. And when he gave that address, and it was a very trying moment for the nation, for the coalition, he added that both he and the incumbent were born in 1965 when Gambia became independent. They are duty bound to ensure a smooth transfer of power. And that he, in his own language, intends to invite him as the second president of the republic, along with the first president, to his deadlines, the public corporation, the same thing, and then facilitate dossier being created to be handed over to the shadow cabinet to prepare to govern when he's inaugurated. That is the language of the coalition. And that was said to the ECOWAS, heads of state who came, that it is at that moment when we should move forward is when this declaration was made, which was unconstitutional. And we reacted to the unconstitutional declaration. And in terms of their court processes, we know nothing about it. And emphasized to him that the way we calm the supporters of the president-elect is to focus their mind on constitutionality, to tell them that the incumbent is the president, outgoing president, up to the end of his term, and on that day he is going to assume office. And therefore, let everybody prepare for that inauguration. And as legal minds, starting a judicial process does not negate constitutional rights. So he still considers this as his constitutional right, as president-elect, to be ready for inauguration and prepare for that inauguration. That is the message to the ECOWAS. They gave advice that ah, what has been done, they've heard that our supporters here and there had conflict. We said, yes, there could be skirmishes, and we heard about skirmishes, but we now establish a national reconciliation committee of the coalition anywhere we hear conflict we send them there and we have solved if you talk to the inspector general or police today and you should do that before leaving he will tell you that our national reconciliation committee had met him several times and had told him if he hears any conflict anywhere before he acts let him inform us and our team will go there and it's a mobile team any time of the night they will go and they have been doing it and we have solved all the problems that came to our notice amicably, without court action, without prosecution. We've been told of languages used. We said, well, maybe as the, at the spur of the moment, everybody can say anything. But all those people who were accused of making those things, we went back to them, they would say, we've been misquoted here and there. So we felt that we put our house in order. That statements are issued by the proper authorities. And those who have been authoring those statements have not been quoted of saying anything that threatens public peace, that threatens others. And here I will come to conclude. We believe it's an invention to talk about prosecuting the incumbent. The language of cyberspace, of the online media, etc., 
uh, who has control over them? They insult anybody, they say anybody because they are in different factions. Some will be your supporters, some will be your opponents, so they are likely to say anything. That's the way of the world today. But people must be fair in their comments. And this, uh, the incumbent, I hope, is fair in the sense that he will not say anything that the president-elect has said, had him say, or the spokesperson, or any authorized person that threatens him. The first language in their communication was public. I congratulate you, my doors are open. I will, you've had experience 22 years. I may have cause to come to knock at your doors to consult you. That was the language from the president-elect, recorded in public space. And I hope any time you meet the incumbent, you will remind him of what we had said, what the president-elect had said. At the most critical moment when he said he has nullified things and he had no power to do so, the reaction could have been to attack. We are going to do something, something will happen. But there too will give you the address. We are all born in 1965. We should be committed to the supreme interest of our nation so that we can make history together. This has never happened. You will see it in the address. And that what I would want is to invite you as the second president of the Gambia with the first president to my inauguration as the third president of the Gambia. You will see it in the address. And through radio interviews, etc., push, push to the hilt to say something about injustices that may have prevailed. He said, yes, justice is absolutely essential and injustice should be redressed but we are going to take the root of truth and reconciliation this is the language of the president-elect and a state that is responsible must listen to a language from a responsible authority to be able to indict if there is need to indict and we hope that you will know those facts and put it across. So lastly, we have been telling people as a whole that you cannot criticize something and then sink to it. The coalition want to bring redress. So therefore, we want the rule of law. The incumbent is still the president of the republic. He has not been indicted. Nobody has said anything about him. So what brings about uh, uh, exercising prerogative of mercy or amnesties, etc.? That's not the language of the coalition. The language of the coalition is we will respect constitutional authority, which states that you have a judiciary, you have an executive, you have a legislature. It's not the province of the president-elect to talk about anything in that regard that is a matter for the judiciary. And it is not a matter for the president-elect to get into the prevention of presumption of guilt of anybody to talk about providing uh, some, some amnesty. We believe in the presumption of innocence. That is, even after you are indicted, but nobody has been indicted. We have not even taken power yet. So that's not at all the language of this coalition. And we have all the documents to show that in our discussion, in everything we have done, we are preparing to be committed to democracy, the rule of law, respect for human rights, justice, good governance. Because we believe that that is what will enable to endear Gambia to the whole world so that investors will come, so that we'll be able to make progress. And that is why my conclusion is, as far as we are concerned, we are fully constitutional, we are constitution compliant. And at this material moment, 
there is no constitutional issue that bars him from preparing for inauguration. And from the language of ECOWAS, we have not seen any of them saying that they are going to flush the incumbent out. Our language is their language, that the incumbent is the president-elect. That is indisputable. And that when the term of the incumbent expires, he should assume office. That is their premise. And that is our premise. And we are working on that. And they are saying they will come when that happens. If anything happens in between, that's a new element. We will not speculate about that. We don't know about that because it does not exist. What we know is what we hold on to. And that's what we <laughs> tell our <laughs> Thank you very much. Mom, the president Alec Baro. Wah, Chikadugi. Moine, Chirewe Africa Day. Amul Ben Ngur. Bo Hamne B. Munanyo Dekal Ngurge. Fek Sadokalin Wirul. Chibati Reum. Moy Bad Binyo Oye Constitution. Mon bon nek bax na ñu sét li xew ci gambia tay muné baati rewi gambia limu wax moy né ben nguur du muna déggu fék wérewul ci baati nit ñi bon nek baati nit ñi mo waral ngour di sosu ci soufi gambia moné nak baat bobu deggal nañu ko ci ben fan ci wéri december ci soufi gambia ndax ci bis bobu ci la woté am ci gambia ci ñaarali fan bi mo nañu deggal né mom mo gagné woté ba bon nak nit ñi wax nañu liñu soxla mo ne gannaaw bu lolu xewé ñi taxaw yépp dañu d'accord né wote bi aw na yoon mo ne bi nga xamé nak président bi nga xamné moy wara génn ci moy président outgoing président jamé bi mu ñëwé bi ol bëti wat waxinam né d'accordul ak wote bi lolu isina ñakkaré be taxna ci bir rew mi ak bitim rew mi ñep jog nañu jaaxle li tax mu wéccii li nga xamne moy xalaatam ci mbelu wote bi mu ne nak bi jaaxle gogu ame mom garal na kaddu dalal rew mi pour ñep xamne su fekke ne nit dem na be ñi yore mbiru wote ci soufi gambia wax na ne ya gagné dara dessatul ci sa mbir lolou nga parayas pour jël ngour ki moné motax bi nga xamé né président jamm mi wara dem ci wax na né d'accordul ak mbiri wote bi mom garal na kaddu deggal ko ci soufi gambia tassaré ko ci mbitim rew né bunta jurom ben fukaya ak ñaar ci bunti ñettel ba ci bunta bobu ci baati rewi gambia dañu wax ne ka nga xamne tan nañu ko ca wote ba bes ba nga xamne tañu tan non bem tok ca la wala jexal nguuram moy juroomi atam yi mu ne baati rew wi gam ya daf ne bes boba tañu tan ca la wara jël nguur ga bon nak xelam yeb mom mu ko sis ca lola amu ci ben ñaari xel ne president bi wara dem ci fukki fan ak jurom ñenen ci wéri january ci 2012 jurom at ca gannaaw ca la jëlon nguur gi mu ne nak mu nge wara jéxal ci wër wi ñew ci la wara jéxal nguuram mu ne bon nak limo denk nit ñi limu wax nit ñi ci rew mi ak limu wax ñi ñewon ci ecowas ak mbitim rew moy ne mom bes bobu day mu ko paré yasal té taxawal na 
ay mbolo yo xamné ñoy